And we're back to learning Photoshop in a year, day 18. Let me show you how to create polygons. You can find the tool where the rectangle tool is. Just right click on this box and then you should find it. And it doesn't really matter what tool is selected. Press U and this toolbox will be highlighted. Then right click on it, select the polygon tool. We'll left click drag and we have a hexagon, six corners right here. Let me set that to 12. I'll left click drag again and this new shape will have 12 corners. Let me delete these two. I set this to five. Left click drag again. And we have three short key options. First, I can hold control. This is going to make the origin point snap and you can rotate this polygon around it. Second, we can hold alt. This makes the origin point the center of the polygon. And third, we can hold shift, which kind of like locks the aspect ratio so width and height will be the same. You can obviously combine these short keys. Let me just hold shift here and I release. Under fill and stroke, we can adjust the colors. Use the color picker or the recently used colors. We just watch us here. Our stroke is not really visible because it's too thin. So let me make that bigger right next to the swatch right here. You can also use the slider. Then we can add stroke styles, dashes or dots. For example, I keep it solid. Then we have width and height. You can adjust it individually without affecting the other one. Or you can lock it by clicking on the link icon. And this will then keep the aspect ratio, so I adjust width and height will be adjusted accordingly. I unlock it, I adjust height and the width will stay the same. As I said, here we have the corners and then the roundness, but both of this doesn't work on existing shapes. So the shape is active, I try to adjust it, nothing changes. This can only be done under the properties. Make sure that you are on the polygon layer and then you can see the properties for this element. You can't see the properties menu at all, go to window, click on properties and then it should pop up. We have width and height again, x and y is the position. We can rotate it below and here again we have roundness and now we can adjust that for the specific elements and even the corners. So these are the specific properties for the specific elements and the elements on top, they are basically then for new elements. So you cannot adjust everything using the top menu for a given element, but in the properties you can. Let me set this to maybe 18 and 100. I left click drag and you can see this new element now has these properties that we've adjusted in the top menu. And we can go to properties for each and adjust this further. What you can also see is every element is given a new layer by default. So we've got polygon one, two, and three, each on a separate layer. And that's because I've got the first mode active right here. So before I've drawn or dragged these polygons, I've used this new layer option, which should be active by default. But we can also use combine here for polygon one and subtract for polygon two. And you can see how this works. You usually want to have new layer active when you create a new shape. Once again, short key is U and then right click on this toolbox to find the polygon tool. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.